What is the faith of prophethood actually? There are different concepts about it. The first concept is to believe in all the prophets. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 4, Allah says, يُؤْمِنُونَ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ وَبِالْآخِرَةِ هُمْ يُوْكِنُونَ That they believe in what was revealed to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and what was revealed before to the prophets before him. And they also believe in the day of resurrection. And how do we believe in the prophets is in all the prophets is Allah mentions in verse 126 of Surah Al-Baqarah and verse 89 of Surah Al-Imran. Allah says, La yufarrikuna bayna ahadim minhum wa nahnu lahu muslimun. That all Muslims who are believing in all the prophets, they are supposed to declare and announce that they do what? They should say that we do not differentiate among the prophets. We do not differentiate between the prophets and we call ourselves as Muslims. So that is what is needed in believing all the prophets is to believe all of them and do not differentiate between all of them. What does this exactly mean and imply? This means that the person will believe that all the prophets were actually the messengers or prophets of Allah. They were chosen for revelation. And we will believe in all of them. We should love, respect, and regard all of them. But as far as obeying and following is concerned, that will be specifically related to the hadith and sunnah of the Prophet as it is only his teachings the teachings of Prophet Sallallahu Hadith and Sunnah, which are secured, which are perfected, which are the final, which are the ultimate, and which are complete. Love, respect, regard of all, love, respect, regard, belief, and faith on all, without differentiation, without distinction, but obedience and and. Uh, accepting the orders and following the sunnah will be our Prophet Now here before proceeding, I would want to clarify in other things that uh, the messengers and prophets of Allah are basically in two categories. They can be, uh, they could be a Nabi. A Nabi, Nabi comes from the word Naba. Naba means news. So Nabi was the person who used to, whom Allah chose out of his bondsmen and revelations were sent to him. And this Nabi or the Prophet gave the news of the revolution and commandments of Allah to the people. And then the second category is the Rasul. Rasul was a person whom Allah chose from among the bondsmen. Revelations were sent down to the Rasul, but in addition, the Rasul of the messengers were also given a holy book or a holy scripture. So this is the basic difference between a Nabi or a prophet and a Rasul or a messenger. Messengers were given holy books or divine scriptures, but the prophets or the Anbiya were just given just given the revelations. And moreover, the Rasul or the Rusul, they also brought a new Sharia. And because of these two reasons that the Rasul brought a new Sharia and the Rasul was given a holy book, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised to protect and safeguard the lives of the Rasuls and not so regarding the Anbiya. That is why Allah says, The followers of the Anbiya did murder them, but no follower of the Rusul was allowed to do that because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had taken the charge of protecting the Rusul. And so if I may say, you, you may understand that all Anbiya 
are not rusul but all rusul are anbiya there are four rusul may, uh, mentioned in the quran hazrat ibrahim alayhi salam khalilullah as his scripture is mentioned in quran is suhuf ibrahim wa musa then hazrat musa alayhi salam allah mentions giving hazrat musa alayhi salam torah or the old testament and then hazrat daud alayhi salam wa atayna daud as-sabura zabur was the holy scripture which was revealed to hazrat daud alayhi salam and then hazrat isa alayhi salam was given in jeel or the new testament and then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was given or was revealed the quran so five rusul have been mentioned in the quran and then another five category of five ulul azam anbiya five ulul azam anbiya are the five steadfast prophets and the top of the line is hazrat nu alaihi salam because he was the one who with full perseverance and steadfastness was preaching and was teaching the message of allah to his people for full 950 years in his life and then in this ulul azam anbiya we have hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam hazrat musa alaihi salam hazrat isa alaihi salam and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam